What's up, guys? I'm Lisa, for those that might not know. <sighs> Today's been a doozy, guys. A doozy. I uh, came home from work, and then I, I took a nap, and we were going to head out to the park after I got up and went downstairs, and my car was not in my parking spot, and I thought somebody stole my car, but it turns out my new... Uh, <laughs> management team in my apartment complex and like there's they started towing everybody's cars and that like had a expired registration or like there was like some sort of damage to your car or whatever blah 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 anyway like I was fine and um but my car was not there but it, it turns out you know in March my <laughs> my tag expired and I didn't even realize and I went to the towing company to go get it and I needed my title which I didn't have and they couldn't use my registration because it was in the car and it's expired anyway they said so it won't work so I have to go get my registration anyway hopefully I can get my car tomorrow I have a ride to work tomorrow I have a ride home. I have a ride to get my tag tomorrow. So I'm covered, but needless to say, it has not been a fun experience. <laughs> I didn't flip out on anybody. I'm very proud of myself. I like, I cried though, because let me tell you, um, I've been like going through this like massive upheaval in regards to my finances. <laughs> And it's like everything's been like perfect and fine and I've just been going with the flow and then all of a sudden everything just like hit at once like boom 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 and all of a sudden I'm like oh my god what the fuck like my accounts overdrawn like all this stuff like started happening and you know for, forced me to be in a position of asking for help which um, isn't anything that I'm that good at and um but I did it and it went a lot better than I had expected. And, uh, you know, so, you know, that's, that was a lesson right there. You know, I keep on realizing that I have to like give, give more. Like I do give a lot. I feel like I give a lot, you know, but, um, I keep being shown, especially like, I mean, I'll know who else is going through like all this stuff. Like as far as like my relationships with others, like this Scorpio full moon is like really like digging out the guts within me, you know, to like really make me look at like all that stuff that's just been like hardened and crusted, you know, and it's like just scraping it all off and making me deal with it and see it and face it. And it has not been. Uh, comfortable to even share my emotions and even not have them reciprocated <laughs> and to realize like this is what I'm realizing is that a lot of my fears around intimacy I have allowed to interfere with relationships that probably could have worked if I wasn't so if I hadn't been so paranoid <laughs> about being taken advantage of <laughs> or manipulated or hurt. I was so afraid of getting hurt that I probably hurt the other person or the other people by 
not trusting them. I'm not to say that like things weren't happening to make me feel like I couldn't really let my guard down, but I, I'm just saying like in retrospect, like looking back to the way that I handled different things, like in, in knowing the things that I know now, like that I can't change anybody and that, um, you know, we're all just like on our own magical mystery ride. <laughs> Those are the words that just gave me. And, uh, you know, everybody's just trying to live and do the, the best that they can at life and I need to remember that you know it's like bumper cars like bumper cars learning how to realize like what works in my life and what doesn't work in my life. And I'm hoping that one day I may get to this point where I don't always have to fall flat on my face. <laughs> but um, anyway, so Yeah, so we we still have like a few days of this full moon and Scorpio lunar eclipse um, energy. So it's like just keep on allowing whatever to be purged in order to release, be released so that moving forward, well, I know for me what I'm going to do, because I don't like telling people what to do. You can do whatever you want, but I know moving forward for me, I'm going to be more open to taking risk when it comes to love and not just like love in a romantic way, like just loving people in general, just love. I mean, for me, I believe like that's the whole purpose of my spiritual journey. It's to teach me how to fall unconditionally in love with myself in order to be able to give that to others. And it has not been an easy ride <laughs> at all. Um, and I'm not saying that I've arrived anywhere because I just feel like I'm always going to be learning and I'm going to stay open to learning and um, you know, I just, I, I want to help. I want to help people feel less afraid of their emotions because I know that for me when like just a feeling like feeling the fear of like any kind of instability in my life and like how it's allowed me to just like cling on to certain things and certain people or certain whatever because um yeah patience and planning look so this number seven is very significant because um It's like seven, seven, seven. There's there. So if you've been seeing it, it's, it's a sign from the universe, but, um, yeah, see material and spiritual prosperity. Listen, look, this goes six, seven, eight. All right.
right and then 17 hope harmony harmony and then the next one is the four of wands foundations and achievements and then like two spiritual union so let me just tell you guys sorry my nose is running because I'm crying but let me just go back to these cards here so patience it says power the power is within within us look at that like that, that guy's a guy and he's a half lion lions know when to fight and lion lions know what's a waste of their time and i feel like that's kind of related to the whole like bumper car thing it's like there's this unfolding happening in my life and it may be happening within yours as well it's like realizing like what's just no longer worth fighting for and what is like what really matters to you and are you really who you say you are do you want to be who you've been saying you or like who you've been showing up as like is that really who you are like there's just this unfolding here yes i feel like there's a big i heard a big surprise coming with this full moon So this could be like some sort of awakening. I'm really drawn to like the, this, all the circles. Okay. It's like all the like moons, like the circles, the halos. And then look in here. It's like, it's in all the, well, this one has a rainbow. And then here, it's like, there may be, um, separation or just like, even in figuring this out, I'm looking at my Alice in Wonderland picture I have up on my wall. You may have seen it in some of my other videos, but it's like two different worlds, you know? And, uh, and also in that unicorn card, there's two two different worlds it's like you can either believe in the magic or just like keep it you know as is because either way everything's going to be okay um but you know i don't like to I'm an Aries, okay? And I'm an Aries, like, meaning, like, I'm I'm very much, like, yeah, make a wish. It was the very last card. You see how it's, like, in one side, it's a girl in her bikini, and she's reaching out for her horse. But on the other side, she's a mermaid, and she's connecting with her unicorn both pictures like are beautiful beautiful pictures right one is just more magical than the other believe in all things Let, let's get some something from here what what is the advice here for the okay this one just flew out let yourself receive see I'm an Aries. This is what I was going to say. And I kind of like, I've, I've worked a lot on my control <laughs> issues, but I still fucking have them, you know, like it, they haven't like completely, um, disappeared or anything. And, uh, anyway, and, and the fact that my, my, my phone went off, like that's the sign right there. You know, I've always said that like, but, um, 
allow others to give you loving care, receive without guilt or apologies. And that that's that's some an issue that I have also been working on is that um, I receive with guilt, like I feel bad for asking um, or that's the lesson that I've been trying to like get over is like to feel like feel less not to feel less than because I have to ask for help or because like I'm not like um because I need help period <laughs> this is something about mother healing I just feel like this is also saying more about just like let go and just like let yourself receive tender love and care this weekend, even if it's like only coming from you, <laughs> even if you're just giving it to yourself. All right. Is there anything else here for the collective? You're being helped and waves of prosperity and make a wish came out. So uh, you're being helped whether you believe it or not because i know it's really easy to feel super alone uh i honestly don't really have anybody in my life anymore that i can like just spill out my you know like i used to have uh, all my best friends died <laughs> and So, you know, now I like, I talk to God and I talk to my angels and, you know, but sometimes you just need, oh my God, I did not expect to get this fucking emotional, but sometimes I just want to talk to somebody who's right here in front of me <laughs> and uh, and when I feel like that it's like this is what I wanted to say to you guys is that like you know don't feel bad about crying or feeling sad like because like feelings aren't facts and you don't have to stay stay there like a lot of times it's really hard for me to cry even though you can't tell that today but today I've kind of like should just hit the fan <laughs> but I'll watch a, a movie like a romantic comedy because it'll make me laugh but it'll also make me cry and I usually need to do both <laughs> because, um, you know, I'm a single mom and I like try to keep, keep my shit together, like in front of my kids and all the time. And just, even though we talk about everything, like I, I, uh, I don't always let them see me like just break down or whatever, or cry. Even though my son said that he's old enough now, he's like, don't, he doesn't want me to do that anymore. Like he, he, you know, so that's also a lesson, you know, just to allow myself to be vulnerable, which is crazy that like, to me anyway, it's crazy to me that like, I'm so private and I've been, well, I've been so private and I've been so closed off like a lot of my life. I, I, I never really had like, even though I might know a lot of people and I'm very friendly and, and kind to people, but, um, all my life, like I've always just only had like a couple people that I might, who might actually really know things that are going on in my life. And then since all my friends died, like I haven't had anybody like that at all. So, you know, there's a power I'm finding in surrendering more and more into my vulnerability, but like, and even like coming on like 
something like YouTube and like sharing like this and like crying and like anybody could fucking watch this, you know? I mean, I don't really care, but, um, it, it's just weird to me that I'm so private and yet here I go on YouTube and anybody can fucking see me. Like I share on here, like I share my fucking heart on here. And, but I know that most of the people that watch me, you guys love me, you know, and I know that we're all growing together and, you know, you guys like send me emails and stuff and you tell me, you know, how much it means to you when I do get raw like this and share with you. And, you know, I just, I want you to know that even if you feel like crap, like you snap your fingers and your whole life changes. And this is why you can't ever give up. You know, ever since I got sober, I like have looked at my life like this giant treasure map. And it's like, you know how they have like the, the spaces and there's the X to wherever it's going to, but, but you don't know where it's going to. And you just like follow this treasure map, like one step at a time, you know, except like on the spiritual journey, you get like a six inch view and that's it. Okay. Everything else is like, you don't know where the fuck you're going. So it's like, you might as well enjoy the ride. Otherwise you just like curl up in a ball and cry <laughs> in fear. But who wants to live like that? Look, morning affirmations. Okay. It says say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. So it's, it's, it's not just that it's that in like taking action and doing things like even when you don't want to do them, you know, like, I, I want to get this like super toned body just because it's something I've always wanted to do. And I've always like, kind of like given up at like, or settled for being like, just, uh, a certain weight or a certain size or whatever. But like, I want to be like ripped. Like I have some muscles, but like, I want to get like, um, I want muscles, you know, <laughs> but that requires me to do like, more work and, um, you know, so it's like, what do you really want? And what are you really willing to do for it? And do you have the patience it takes to get there? Because a lot of times I know for myself, I get like really frustrated, you know, because I want what I want when I want it. And it's like being willing to start at the very fucking beginning and, fall flat on my face and get back up and start back over again. And it's like, um, you know, every time I feel like I get back up and I show up again, it's like, I'm winning, you know, like I, the only person I'm in competition with is myself. And, and that is the honest to God truth because, um, I don't, I just, you know, I was talking to, about this with somebody at work today and, or maybe it was yesterday. I don't know, but some of the best advice I've ever gotten in my whole entire life was, um, from my Maureen. And she told me, Lisa, the sooner you learn to mind your own damn business, the sooner or the happier your life will be. I'm telling you, that was the best damn advice I ever got in my life because it changed my life. Because when I'm only focused on myself, like, like only taking inventory of myself, like, I, I only got to worry about myself. Like, I don't have to worry about what you're doing. I don't have to try and fix your problem. I don't have to wonder why, blah, 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 blah. That, that's, that's yours, you know? That's yours. I just got to, like, focus on myself, fix myself. So, anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling now. And I love you guys. Hang in there tough. I will do a reading here um, tomorrow for the full moon. So we'll just get like really nitty gritty because I'm sure it's going to be deep, but just hang in there because there's a lot of good stuff coming here, but it's, it's still there. What we want, what we're creating, it still requires more, um, effort. Okay. But we have the strength and the power to move forward. Okay. I do feel like, again, this is the fact that these two cards come out. It, it just tells me it's like you're moving into a place or we're all moving into a place of balance of like giving and receiving. And 
We're learning how to do it and give it, you know, be that person in somebody's life and to also allow that person to enter our lives, you know, not just one, but like, you know, our soul tribe. And then here's the star. It's, a, it's all about Aquarius. Okay. Um, there's something, the star is Aquarius, but there's something happening astrologically in, in Aquarius. But do you see how this, like, this always looks like this is somebody, um, in a prison, uh, uniform, whatever. And it's like the sun is over like where the shackles are, but it's like, it's being broken free from wherever we've been stuck or whatever has been holding us hostage. Okay. Even if like wherever we've been holding ourselves hostage, it's, 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 it's having the power and the courage to break free and move forward past this. That's what's, that's where we're at. That's where we're headed. That's what this whole purging and releasing of like all these dark crevices of our emotions that are coming up. I just keep on getting all these text messages. I don't know who they are, but anyway, keep leaning into it. Feelings aren't facts. Okay. Snap your fingers and your whole life changes. Believe it to receive it. All right. When you get super fucking overwhelmed, don't forget to look at your feet. Why? Because it reminds you where you are and then you can take a deep breath look up and just do what's in front of you to do okay because that's the only moment that matters it doesn't matter tomorrow you know like when i pick up my car and it, are they really going to give it to me and blah 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 blah, blah, blah. It, that doesn't matter okay i'll deal with that tomorrow right now what matters is i'm here with you guys i'm connecting i'm feeling the love and yeah, we're moving, we're moving forward. Okay. So enjoy your night or whenever you watch this, enjoy your day. Know that I love you and look for a reading tomorrow. Okay. For the full moon. I love you. Bye.